Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at the flip command. So as of the time of the filming of this video, 2023 is just coming out and flip is actually a brand new command. If you're a longtime user of SketchUp, you're probably used to the flip along command, which is a totally different command. What flip along would do is take selected geometry and flip it based on the axes, either the world axes or if you're in a component, the component axes. If you're like me, you always struggled a little bit trying to remember if which way is red going to flip it versus green? Blue I usually knew up and down, but front back, I could never actually get that fully solid and ended up guessing a lot. The new flip command is way easier to use. It's very obvious which way the geometry is going to flip and you can use it to duplicate geometry. So you can actually mirror and keep the original, which is an awesome, awesome functionality. And we're taking a look at that right now. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have a couple things on the screen right now. So here I have our scale figure for 2023 Heather. And I have some loose geometry over here that's gonna end up being the quarter of a nice big conference table. So let's look at how flip works. Flip is very simple. It's a single button command. So there's here's the icon right here. It's under tools. So you just click flip there. Um, but whatever's gonna, whatever I do, I wanna select the geometry I have first, or like other SketchUp commands, I can choose the command first and then whatever I click on after will start flipping. So just to show you, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna grab this geometry real quick, just do a group select and hit flip, and I'll show you how this works. Then we'll talk a little bit more about uh, using the command first and then selecting your target second. So as soon as you hit flip, you get these planes, red, green, blue, and you can see in this case, the red, green, and blue are actually aligning to the axes. That's happening because this is loose geometry. Loose geometry is gonna show you your flip planes relative to the world axes. Now, Heather over here is a component. So if I pick on a component and I click flip, notice that the red, green, and blue faces, the, the controls are not parallel or following the world axes. Because components have their own red, green, and blue axes, when I use flip on, an, on a, a component or group, it's going to align those controls to the axes that's saved in that container. So very important thing to note. Uh, it, it also lets you control too. So if I have some geometry that's off axes and I wanna force my, my controls to show up in a certain orientation, I can do that by grouping or componenting the loose geometry. Getting back to it though, let's go back to this geometry over here. Use flip again. So actually using it is super simple. So if I just come in here and I click on the green axis, what it's gonna do is this green axis is at the middle of the selected mass. So when I click this, it just flips it the other way. See how that happened? If I click the blue, it's gonna flip it vertically. Red, it's gonna flip it this way. Super, super simple easy to use. It's a click. But of course, we can always do more than, than just that. SketchUp's great at keeping that base functionality just a click and then gives you tools to push that a little bit further. Okay, so the big one, if I look at my modifier keys down here, I have a modifier key for flip or copy. So I can actually toggle it just like other, other editing tools in SketchUp, uh, tapping that modifier key will keep the original copy. So this sounds great, but let's do that real quick. So I'm on a window, so I'm gonna hold down control and click the green and look what happens. Well, that was cool, but it stuck both copies on top of each other because it's centering around the middle. So I have all this overlapping geometry. Well, that's not ideal. Right, so I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that and go reselect that geometry. Fortunately, and I really like this, one of the things you can do is you can click and drag a plane. So if I wanna not just flip it this way, but I wanna copy it so that on the end here, there's another copy going this way, what I can do is I can grab that green plane and I can pull it and let it snap to the end like that. See that, look at, see how that did that? 
That was awesome. Now that green plane's there, I can flip it back and forth. Or if I want, which is the intention of where I'm going right here, hold down control key on my keyboard and tap that to get a duplicate copy. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and let's keep going here. Two-legged table is not a table. I'm gonna grab all this geometry again, click flip another time. This time I'll take the red and I'll drag that out and let that drop right on the face there. Now, as soon as you let go, it does the cop, it, it does the flip. So as soon as I release that, it flips it. Um, not a big deal because I can always flip again by coming back over here, but I could have tapped release first. That gives me the plus. That way when I drag and drop the red axis, it automatically flips that that way. Pretty cool, pretty easy. And man, you know exactly where everything's gonna go because these planes come in and tell you so. So one more thing that I was talking about before, if I do click on flip first, now whatever I click on next is going to come up and be flippable. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, so if I click on a single surface like this, it's gonna come up just for that surface. Not, not terribly useful there. If I go into flip, let's go deselect that flip. I can't drag, just like the other tools. If I wanna pre-select multiple items, I have to select that beforehand. If I turn on flip first, then I can come in and click on any one item. And then from there, I can flip with just a click. If you're like me and you struggle with flip along or you used scale to invert stuff, uh, that kind of thing, you're gonna love this command. I mean, this is one of those things, that it's super easy to pick up. And I, really, I've, I used it a couple of times. And I'm already thinking back through my old models I've created like, wow, this would have been a one-click thing that I did here. And here I made a copy and then invert it with scale and then moved it back. Whereas now it would be click done. So flip is a great command. Check it out, uh, SketchUp 2023, awesome new tool. If you like that video, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and be notified of all of them if we subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think of Flip? Have you used it before? Are you gonna be happy to have this new option rather than Flip Along or Scale? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.